it is day 13 and we're off to a good start at 5.30 in the morning. And with three portages ahead of us for the day, I think this calls for a montage. 10 miles into paddling today, it's time to portage around Blanchard Dam, which is right over here. Blanchard Dam is the tallest dam on the Mississippi River at 47 feet of waterhead. Still early in the day, we have enough energy to power through this one in 20 minutes. Two more of these. One dam down, two more to go. A few miles downstream is the Sartell Dam, which runs the paper mill across the river, appropriately named the Sartell Paper Mill. This dam has by far the worst access to the other side. 300 yards away is where we'll put in, but not before we have to take the road to an almost impassable entry, not ideal for canoeists. Sartell Dam voted worst portage on the Mississippi River. Beautiful. Before reaching Dam 3, we hit some excitement over at the Sauk Rapids. Danger Dam! Danger Dam! Danger 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 Dam! The dam in the city of St. Cloud concludes our day of portaging. Just like the last two, we have to bring our canoes through some obstacles, except that this time, we're exhausted and ready to call it a night. How is it? It's awesome. Really? Yeah. After a long day of portaging, we find a campsite not too far from the dam. We cook up some beans on an open fire, relax, and get some rest for, you guessed it, another day of paddling. Today marks the two week anniversary of our trip. It is day 14 and we have ourselves a really nice current. We paddle to Elk River for lunch. Small towns like this don't have marinas where we can leave our boats. So to keep them safe, we hide them out of plain sight at the bottom of a hill, behind a corporate building, right in the heart of town. We bring our valuables along and grab a bite to eat at a spot called The Depot. Sausage. Salsa, cream mustard, sour cream. You guys try the tater tot things? Yeah, they're really good. Yeah, yeah. Nice. yeah. It's a sandwich? It's a sandwich. Oh. After the fried food fiesta, we get back on the water, paddling miles through towns like Anoka, where we'll eventually start looking for a place to camp. But it's not as easy as it looks, so we end up zigzagging down the river, trying our luck. So we have nowhere to camp around this area. According to the map, it said that there's a campsite, but it looks like we have to paddle six more miles down. The sun starts to set, and we find out that there's another portage ahead of us. Just ahead. Fortunately, this is the last one before the locks and dams start in Minneapolis. We will not miss doing this, especially long ones like this that take us into the night. We finally get our boats across and into the water. We're beat and just want to find a place to sleep. That's the final step for tonight. Now, the route to the campsite. We blindly pick some random patch of land and set up for the night with no idea where we are. We'll find out tomorrow morning.